People at home, welcome. A couple weeks ago on Alina's podcast, she attempted to recount the Watergate scandal. Watergate. The CIA was involved. There was a lie being told. But what could the lie have been about? Something about a dam? The short of it is, Alina and her co-host Sarah thought the Watergate scandal had to do with water. (laughs) I thought we'd play off that a little bit and just do some World War trivia with the girls. And I just have to say, I'm really putting myself out here today she's putting out today you know what a lot of you don't know what this stuff is that we're about to do and you have google there could be a total nerd for this stuff i know there are history buffs yeah okay but a lot of people don't know what this stuff is lena is trying to do uh preemptive damage control in the event that you think she is dumb that will not save you i graduated with a really high gpa that doesn't mean anything Exactly. As you guys will see, I graduated magna. I don't want to say the rest. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come um, on and say it. You get uh, magna come loudly? I don't want to say it. You say so much worse on your own show and you suddenly don't want to say come loudly? I wanted to say it properly and I didn't want anyone to say come loudly. How do you say it? Cum laude? You were talking about lasering your butthole and, <laughs> and pleasuring yourself too. All right, Coomer, <laughs> let's get into it. So this is the beginning of World War Trivia with me and Alina. Thank you, Alex, for putting all this together. Hosted by Alex. <laughs> yeah, nah, definitely. Not. <laughs> Hosted by Alex. <laughs> Cash turn the camera. Hosted by... <laughs> Hosted, yeah, just, yeah. Hosted by yeah, Alex. Yeah, just keep them out. Whatever it takes. <laughs> okay. Question number one. What were the years of World War I? Do you want the multiple choice questions or do you want to just go off the top? No, I think it's funnier if we get it wrong. Okay, cool. I mean, you're going to get it wrong with the multiple choice regardless. (laughs) How big can the range be? It's got to be the exact year. It's a war. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you you how long the war was. Okay. It's four years. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay. For sure. For sure. I was about to start it with 18, but... 18? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm guessing 1929 to 1933. I'm guessing 1917. I mean, also, eh, but like, yeah. that was, hers was closer? closer. One was World War One. 1914 to 1918. Oh, it was that early? Yeah. Okay. Oh, one oh point the for Roaring Twenties was after the fucking war yes. ended. Got yes. it, got it. My bad. The hell is the Roaring Twenties? <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> All right. brother. What's the Roaring Twenties? Is that just Gen Z? I think it was like <laughs> the California Gold Rush was during that time. The California Gold Rush in the 1920s? Mm-hmm. Alina, no one is sifting for gold with a pan in 1970. <laughs> oh, yes, they were. No. Do you know why the San Francisco 49ers are the San Francisco 49ers? The team coach right molested someone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was the California Gold Rush in 1848. 1848. See? So I was right. No, it was. I just said it was 1848. Okay, let's move okay. on. Okay. How many total lives did the First World War claim roughly? Oh. Mm-hmm. This is that all over the world? Or? <laughs> yes. yes. Cut that out. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave that in. I'm guessing it claimed 10 million. Okay. Okay. A hundred thousand. All right. Noel wins because the answer is about 22 million. Okay. Yeah. How do that many people die? <laughs> Dude, I don't think anyone ever really conceptualizes between World War One and Two how many people died. Yeah. Isn't it like 60 million total or some shit? Well, well I mean, give we can it go away. to the next question. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Whoops. I may be getting some questions wrong here, but my whiteboard is a lot cleaner than yours. Typical woman. I'm winning, so she talks about my mess. <laughs> Hey there, folks. We want to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. Have you ever been browsing the internet to find a hitman to kill your family? Oh, that's not the script. My bad. Okay. Imagine going to a coffee shop and you connect to the free Wi-Fi. It's called Coffee Free Wi-Fi. Pretty innocuous. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? Wrong. That Wi-Fi network is actually being hosted by a random person impersonating a free Wi-Fi network. Luckily, there's a way to protect yourself while browsing the internet, and that's NordVPN. In just one click, you can enable protection or with zero clicks with auto protection. It's up to you. Here's a little trivia for you. How many servers would you guess that NordVPN has? Over 5,600 in 59 different countries. They've also got threat protection, major upgrade. It blocks intrusive ads, web trackers. When a user downloads a file, it automatically scans it for malware. It even scans and blocks malicious URLs. How about that? Right now, Nord is offering you four months free with the purchase of a two-year plan. NordVPN.com slash Noel Miller. Get after it. Okay, now let's get back into the video. Why did Canada 
join the fight in World War One? I. I can give Ooh. multiple choice questions. Yeah, let's one. give multiple choice on this one. Yeah. <laughs> a. To stop Hitler's domination. Okay. B. As a part of NATO, when NATO partner states are attacked, their allies are required to come to their defense. Oh. C. Because the British said so. Or D. They were feeling left out. Definitely not D. <laughs> this feels Unless. like a trick question. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> I'm going okay. A. It's B. Okay, well, A was to stop Hitler's domination. Hitler was World War II. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Uh, B, as a part of NATO. No, that was a trick. NATO didn't exist yeah, yet. Yeah, NATO didn't exist, yeah. yeah. Uh, C, it's because the British yeah. said so. Because since Canada is a part of the oh, Commonwealth of Britain, that's right. their foreign policy is dictated by Britain's foreign policy. Okay. Because of that... How many Canadians died in the First World War? Oh, let's go. Okay, okay, for sure. Uh, I'm guessing roughly 2 million. Okay, I'm back at it with 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alina wins because the answer is 66,000. Oh, that's it? Yeah, Canadians were... There's not a lot of people shit. there. Oh, just like their money, they're worth nothing. <laughs> I can say that, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm ready for the next question. What does the term no man's land refer to? Uh, oh, oh, I mean, okay. I don't want to write it all out. I just know what I'm going to say. Did you know what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Alina is scribbling an essay away. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Alina. All right. It's the Midwest. Oh, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. That's a good it's joke. Good. She it's should get good. a point for that. That's, that's funny. That's, that's funny. It's really funny. Totally intended to be a joke. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you could say uh, no man's land. That's like the area between like you know opposing forces and everyone you basically die it's yes like no yeah, man's yeah. Land. between the trenches is what yeah. Call it. yeah oh the midwest you're gonna get some real pissed off idahoans <laughs> yeah. and iowans that's fine all right this is just the two i mean two multiple choice questions for this one what is an armistice oh shit. a a military term for an arms race in preparation for war or b a state of peace agreed to between enemies so they can discuss peace terms okay ready yeah Letra B. It is B. <laughs> really? B, yes. a state of peace agreed to between enemies so they can discuss peace terms. Why don't they call it a peace assistance? <laughs> Damn, bro. You should do stand up. <laughs> that was good. Why is it an armistice if it's about peace? In 1917, the British intercepted a telegram from Germany to Mexico. What did the Germans tell the Mexicans about joining the German cause? Is this a multiple choice? That's, that's no. really open-ended. So, so in 1917, in World War I, okay. the Germans sent a telegram to Mexico. If they joined the German cause in World War I, they would be rewarded, they would be blah, 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 with something. Okay, I know, I know. Fun fact, Alex's history corner here. The British intercepted it and uh, translated their code and figured this out. All right, you got your answer? You saw mine, didn't you? No. You cheated. <laughs> You cheated. No, I did not. Uh, I said Spain. Okay. <laughs> they get a country? Yeah, why not? Uh, I said cars slash so automotive secrets. Secrets, secrets. They're going to teach them how to build a 911? <laughs> <laughs> what did Germany have? They had a lot of cars. They had... <laughs> <laughs> Germany offered Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico oh, to damn. the Mexicans if they helped them. Oh, I was How thinking, did they yeah. even have those? They did. They did. They states. said that if they helped fight against the U.S., they would give them because U.S. land. America took that shit from them like a century ago. I was thinking it's like, oh, they conquered Spain. Yeah. So. Dang. Automotive secrets. <laughs> <laughs> In this war, the prizes were not like YouTuber prizes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you in a car? You know, like we're talking real. <laughs> Like the people that mm. pillaged your family for centuries, yeah, you'll get them back. I see. In March of 1965, U.S. Marines landed on the beaches of what country? In 1965. Who? Which which country? Land? <laughs> that, that is the question. I don't really know where Normandy is, but I just put the UK. Normandy. Oh, Japan. Okay, neither. It was a trick question. Gotcha. It's oh. Vietnam. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Dang. That was, in that was Alex's hours. trick question of the episode, you guys. <laughs> Stop trying. No one cares. <laughs> no one's going to go to the comments and be like, ooh. What a great teacher. Great trick question. <laughs> I'm going to add that to my, my <laughs> curriculum. Yeah, and if they do, they're just doing it to like patronize you. Like, they don't actually mean it. <laughs> I appreciate patronization. Yeah, and then the one teacher who's like, that was actually a great, that's something you know. Like Alina's saying, yeah. I put that on my curriculum. <laughs> All right, what years were World War II then? 
Okay. This is the same year I always say because I get years. asked it a lot. Six years. Six years. Yeah. Just to remind you, Vietnam was in 1965. For sure. So that was after World War II, and World War One was in 1914. I'm rethinking my answer, but. Does your answer fall in between those two? Yeah, it's the answer should fall. <laughs> Alina's, like, Alina's like 2001. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 1942. That is that is the year the war was being fought, correct? Yeah, I put 1938 to 1944. You were off by one. 1939 to 1945. I was gonna go 39. Come so on, give me, that. That give me that one. Give me that one. What if I subtract? Okay, no. You were closer. You get the. You points. weren't. You weren't off though. You weren't off though. Are you erasing with your finger? No, with the back of the. That's what I'm doing, and it's just. It's kind of mushing around. In 1907 and 1908, the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna rejected this infamous student twice. Vienna, oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. <laughs> All right, Vienna, of course, Vienna, of, course. of course. Can I give multiple no, answers? No, 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 come on. I just keep thinking of Italians. Well, write one down, write Davide. Yeah. <laughs> Davide. Uh, Love Island winner 2022. World War One and World War Two. Who are, who are the bad guys? <laughs> I got it, I got, got it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn those scorecards. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> He was short and, and, and he, he was. <laughs> didn't he get really pissed off and do a lot of really bad things after because he was short? Not because he was short. <laughs> yes. Alina, Napoleon was like. I didn't even know Hitler was around in 1907. Okay, okay. Very, very calmly tell me what war was Hitler a part of? World War II. Yes. Okay, so if he took over. I 19- just. I was Vienna. I just was thinking. Who's from Vienna? Vienna is awfully close to Germany. Yeah, but I wasn't thinking about him. Okay, so my other options were Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Albert Einstein. (laughs) (laughs) None of them were infamous, but okay. This one I know Alina has some history in. The Treaty of Versailles ended what war? Alina, you asked me to ask this question before the video. Yeah, because I remembered it on my drive today, and I thought, I wonder if Alex is going to ask about the Treaty of Versailles. Oh, okay, okay. And then I said, I have literally no clue what it is. Oh, okay. But it'd be a good question. Go ahead. So we've got two options here, right? World War One and World War Two. Oh. Right? I thought it was like the War of Capitol Hill. Like- no, that was on January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't do those dog whistles in here, motherfucker. <laughs> 50% chance. Alina wins this one, World War One. Oh wait, what was uh, what was signed after two then? Uh, after all that, you got it right. Thank you. World War II treaty was the Paris Peace Treaties. Yes. Can you tell me what it, what, 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 what it was, in, what it entailed? The Treaty like, of Versailles? Does it have anything to do with Cuba? No. No. <laughs> okay, well there's a restaurant called Versailles. Oh my my god. And it's Cuban food. We have to get Alina out of LA. It's poisoning her brain. (laughs) This organization, founded in 1920, is known as the predecessor to the United Nations. Microsoft. No. Sorry. All right, the predecessor to the United Nations. Is that a before or after? What does predecessor mean? We still have the United Nations, so predecessor pre would be before. Kind of like prequel. Mm. Prequel. Um, (laughs) Prequel. Yeah, I got my answer. Right, right? Yeah. You first. Okay. The peace union. Okay. Phase clan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what the predecessor of the UN is. Yeah, it's the League of Nations. That's so corny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are the four men? <laughs> Can rusty bike wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what happened on a beautiful morning of December seventh in nineteen forty one? Do you want multiple choice questions? No. Or do you want to go off the top? No, we know, we know. Okay, you you know? No, we know. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, Alina, I prefer to hear yours first. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right. Oh, well, my uh, mine is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Let's just let's just leave it at that. I'm on a roll here. I'd like the next question. Who was the fat man in Nagasaki? What the hell? The fat man in Nagasaki. What All do you know right. about Nagasaki okay, in World on. War II? I got it. I got it. She probably has it. <laughs> She's like Donald Trump. <laughs> Winston Churchill. 
Is that what, is that what you... <laughs> it is not Winston Churchill. Wow. Bomb! It is the atomic bomb that they dropped on Nagasaki. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the fat man. And I think little boy. I think fat man and little boy. Why did they call them U-boats? U-boats. It was a technological marvel for the war. All right. There we go. Underwater. <laughs> You all. <laughs> what? It, is, it, in fa- it you? is in fact underwater. Yeah, underwater boat. Oh. It involves you? Yeah. You're doing great. You're doing <laughs> thank great. You, yeah, thank you're you. doing great. What was the meaning of the Japanese term kamikaze? I mean, we know this. Do you? Sorry, sorry. So this is supposed to mean the translation of the meaning of the term kamikaze. Oh, I can give I can give multiple choice for this. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. No, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Well, I'll let her go. Let's see if she's got right. it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's go multiple choice. Yeah, let's, let's go, go multiple, multiple choice. choice. Let's yeah, flip that yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't need to clarify. Okay. You were wrong. So let's just. Are you sure? <laughs> you were dead wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. This wait. Tr- hold on. <laughs> this is what I was trying to say. Did you think that I didn't understand what you mean by jet? <laughs> if you thought like I meant a jet ski, you're no. like. A. Divine wave. B. Holy wind. C. Divine wind. Or D, holy war. See, I told you there was a jet involved. Did you choose right. an option? See, yeah. both of you guys are right. Divine wind. <laughs> You're always trying to argue, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Manhattan Project was about what? Do you think you know, Alina? Yeah, for sure. You said that about jet, too. <laughs> Watchmen? <laughs> New, New Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> Manhattan is in New York. <laughs> I know, but New Jersey wants their own Manhattan, so that's why they discussed it. That is hilarious. <laughs> you should do real estate. And Watchmen was like kind of close. It was in Watchmen. It was the project to develop the atomic bomb. Oh, okay. Who created the theories that led to the atomic bomb and the creation of the U.S. Manhattan Project? A. Albert Einstein. B. Enrico Fermi. C. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Or D. Werner von Braun. So D was Werner von Braun, and that is incorrect. The answer is Albert Einstein. Oh. No way. His theories led to the creation of the atomic See, bomb. Okay, can I just say something? I always think it's not the obvious one. That's my main flaw here. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it can't be Einstein. Yeah. It's too easy. It is. Let this be a lesson to you out there. When the answer seems obvious, that's probably it. So for the final round here, we're going to wager how many points we have. So write down how many points you want to wager. Just write down how many points you want to wager. How did Hitler die? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Lena, you don't look confident in your answer. Do you want a hint? No. All right, how many points did you wager? Four. For four points, Alina said Hitler has died by poison. Okay. I wagered one point, and I said that he died from pills and a gunshot wound. From who? Himself. Correct. Committed suicide. pills are poison. And a gun Bruh, is poison. I love you, but you lost. <laughs> you didn't have to wager so many. Four? All right. Wait, let's get a closing moment. Thanks for coming to Alex's historical trivia game. <laughs> yeah, so let's get a real outro. How do you feel? Technically, you got a lot right. You just made it seem worse at the end because you wagered so many points. I feel a little sad. Why? I feel like I should have known some of these. Actually, no. Who knows these? Realistically, I think anyone who's not like into world history forgets Mm -hmm. all this shit after what, 25 years old probably. So you shouldn't feel bad. Now, here's where you should feel bad is I know in high school, you probably got a hundred on all of these tests. Yeah. Now you got an F. I did. I'm joking. I think the questions were a little rigged. (laughs) <laughs> you, I had a question in there that you Ooh, told me dude, to this ask. This is awesome. Yeah, I this think, is rigged, dude. You told me to you ask made the a questions. Bad <laughs> quiz, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It's your fault that we're dumb. <laughs> when you, you got like a B on a test, yeah. Would you go to the teacher and say, "Yo, this is an A"? Yeah, I'd argue. <laughs> would you actually? I argued. Yeah. Did you ever win? Oh yeah. <laughs> Or I would I would ask for things I could do like extra credit so I could bump everything up. You little, going up to your teacher. Can I get some extra credit? Definitely didn't ask it like that. You tell me this now. Yeah. After we have just locked it down. Yeah. Now you tell me you're flirting with your teachers. Or I'm very committed to doing well. All right, let's end this by you telling us uh, when did we sign the Declaration of Independence. 
Isn't that 1776? Alina, when was that? Me? Yeah. I, I'm the teacher. Yeah, so you should know the answer. Oh, you're the teacher? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to show me what year that um, was with your f***ing shirt off. <laughs> I'm 16 and you're hot as hell. All right. <laughs> what, too much? Okay. I just wasn't happy with the quiz given, so, so I'm making my own. So what's, yeah, what's the answer to your quiz? Um, 1724. Is it 1776? The answer was 1776. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here. Uh, I'm clearly the f***ing, the boss hog when it comes to this here world history. World War One and Two history. Uh, how did it feel losing to an absolute legend today? If I could lose to anyone, it'd be you. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, I want to get better grades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you committed to getting good grades? See me after class. With your shirt off, because we're both the same age, and it's fine. It's night school, so we can do this. Can we do statistics next? Absolutely not. All right, we're out of here. Come here to play. Now I came with a plan. I'm the star inside my circle. I'm the pentagram. Whoa. Making sacrifices just to get the lamb. Oh. I'm trying to see how fast that hurricane go. Eyes burning. No sleep. Hustle is OD. Collecting heavy notes.